Right, so I thought I would also continue on with the clotted cream theme and show you how to make British scones to go along with them. So this is a real treat for my brother-in-law who is from the UK and I know this is one of the things he misses from home. So in the bowl I have uh, two cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, and I've got a quarter cup of sugar. The recipe also calls for a little bit of salt, but I have salted butter, so I'm not gonna add that in. So I'm just grating my nice cold butter into the dough. We'll just finish that up here. This way, you're gonna get little bits of butter all throughout. It's gonna make your scones nice and fluffy, which is what we want. Okay, beautiful. So, as I mentioned when we were making the clotted cream, there's liquid that is left over. So that liquid is gonna actually go right into our scones here. And we're gonna do two thirds of a cup. Let me just grab my measuring cup here. <laughs> okay. So two thirds of a cup go in our reserved liquid from the scones. I mean, sorry, two thirds of a cup from our clotted cream leftovers here. One, two. All right, so we're just a tad shy. So I'm just gonna add some of my milk in there. to top that off. There we go. There's our two thirds of a cup. And we're also going to throw one large egg in there. If you have a food processor, you can do this in a food processor. I do not have one. And I honestly prefer doing this sort of stuff by hand. I really do. We're going to mix it all together till it's just combined. We do not want to overwork this dough at all. British scones, I find, can be a little temperamental to get just right. I've tried several recipes, and this is the one that I like the best. So we'll let that just come together. Perfect. At this point, I'm actually going to stop stirring and we're gonna work the rest of it out on the counter with a little bit more flour just to prevent it from sticking. All right, so we've got our dough on the counter here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of flour here for my hands. Now, you don't wanna knead it per se, you just kinda of wanna bring it all together. Nice and lightly here. timer. Perfect. Gorgeous, nice and tender dough. Has a little bit of give to it, which is what we want. I like a nice thick scone. So I'm not going to roll these too thin. There we are. Again, you, this is a dough you really don't want to overwork, so we're just going to get it Oops. Half inch, three quarters of an inch thick. And from here we can cut out our scones. Perfect. All right, we're cutting out the scones now. Um, I seem to have misplaced my round biscuit cutter. So I'm using my stainless steel one cup measuring cup. Works just as good. And I just have a cookie sheet that I have put um, a non-stick baking mat on. And we'll put our scones right on there. And so 
that's about the thickness they are at the moment. So we'll see how much they rise when we bake them. If you wanted, you could cut them into maybe triangles like you see a lot of the scones here in North America. But I'm trying to keep this as traditional as possible. all of them out until they're all I'm gonna use up all that dough as much as I can so we're gonna get as many scones out of this as possible all right so here are our scones all cut out I'm gonna put those in the oven shortly I've just got something else in there at the moment and this is all that was left over so not much is wasted at all. I just didn't want to overwork it and keep reusing it. So this is it. That's the only bit that I'm going to throw away. But I got 13, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, baker's dozen, 13 scones. Alrighty, we'll see what they look like when they come out of the oven. Alrighty, here are our beautiful fluffy scones. They're still hot, but I'm going to bring them over to my brother-in-law. And my sister's house, do a little doorstep drop off. Her favorite rice pudding, and three scones with clotted cream. 